hello, 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 and today I'm going to be showcasing just how good break effect servo can be. As you can see here, I have some HP, some speed, and the most important stat of all, I have 156 break effect. Now, break effect on a character like servo is nothing new, but we're going to see if she can be an equal replacement to or be a stand in for Kafka while you're wishing on her banner. As you can see here, we have the two break effect sets equipped. We have the seriousness of breakfast, which makes sense, but the team that we're going to pair alongside servo is one that most of you guys are probably familiar with. That's the Luca, Sampo, and Luocha team. In case you're curious about my Luca and Sampo build, I have 3k attack, 146 speed on Luca. I have around 76 effect hit rate. I'm running him a musketeer because that and speed and attack is pretty useful for Luca. I'm using his own light cone. And for Sampo, as you can see here, he's also quite quick. He's 150 speed, has 2.8k attack, and a decent amount of effect hit rate as well, 68 here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna fight is Japard. As you can see here, we have physical, imaginary, and lightning weaknesses. We're gonna see a break effect does a lot of damage. And as always, we do have Sampo Luca as backup damage dealers and as units that can accentuate and buff the damage that Serval does on her ultimate. Okay, so really good thing about Sampo is that in addition to being a scammer to us in the Trailblazer, in this fight, he won't actually break Japard, which is really useful because we don't want him to weakness break Japard too quickly. Luca here can weakness break Japard. I am going to use my skill here once because I do want the defense shred and I want the bleed. However, the actual thing that we're looking for here is an ultimate cast from Sampo and an ultimate from Luca. Uh, we kind of have to throw away some of the casts here because again we're not looking for the fastest clear we're just trying to see on average like you know if the damage from server will will be significant or noticeable uh with the weak with this ultimate it shouldn't break yes so depart should actually so we just if you didn't if you didn't see there sampo increased okay so sampo's ultimate sampo's ultimate just got resisted which is kind of unfortunate but we can still test to see just how good luca's ultimate and servals break is here okay so we get to break here and kind of grief it a little bit but here's the moment we've all been waiting for we have the vulnerability we have a bunch of dots and we're about to break with serval she has 150 break effect so surely all the time that i spent farming was not to waste and here we go bada bing bada boom Okay, 19,000 damage without Sampo's ultimate landing is pretty good. So if I had to guess, and we'll see, uh, and we'll see in a little bit once he regains his, uh, once he regains his, oh my God, that did 75,000 damage. Okay, well, we try our best to try and line up the debuffs, but Sampo got resisted, which kind of sucks because I do have a decent amount of effect hit rate. However, 20,000 damage on ultimate into break is no laughing matter. And pretty much right after I did that, especially with the memory of chaos, which again, you know, her damage might be a little lower without the memory of chaos, but with it, as soon as as soon as I casted my as soon as the weakness broke the boss, it just died. Japar just fell over. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Okay, however, we still have this other boss, which is nice. We do have to be a little more cautious here. So this time around, as opposed to Luca having to be the, the careful one, we actually have to be careful with Sampo because Sampo is already showing to be kind of a... Look, look, look we haven't even gotten to Serval's turn yet, and he's already at half. Okay, we have the heal from Sampo. Uh, it's so unfortunate. I literally can't... I don't want to hit the enemy at all because we're already so close to weakness breaking. Okay, surely I got my ult... Okay, okay. So I have my ultimate here. That's totally fine. Dot vulnerability. There it is, there it is. Wait, wait, I just didn't remember what the name of the... <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So, with both, they do about 19,000 damage. I don't know. I, 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 I guess I just schizoed out. I don't know. Let's see if we can replicate similar damage and see just how much damage Luca's ultimate does here. We added the vulnerability again, and however, with Servo breaking here, we have Sampo and Luca's ultimates, and it's going to be a break with Servo, so... Okay, so about 14,000 is still pretty good. I don't think we had the field from Luocha, which, you know, I got luckily. But, like, give or take 20% attack is not that huge a difference. I'm sure you guys are about to see it, but this guy's about to basically... He's gonna get hit by the Memory of Chaos effect, and he's just gonna die in one hit. And, alright, so... As you can tell, at least for the purpose of this fight, she was doing about anywhere between 15 to 20,000. That was with me griefing. As you can see here, I know this is Memory of Chaos 5. 37 turns to clear a half is pretty quick. Now, the elephant in the room is obviously that we were fighting something weaker, but I kind of want to just get a baseline to see just how good Servo could be. However, if we move along, this time we can try Memory of Chaos 7, which is getting into the harder stages. So, as always, we have Sampo, we have Luocha, and in order to kill the first round of mobs, let's use Servo. Okay, so 11,000 to start off. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so this is our first, like, real meat shield. Like, you know, a character that you can actually 
see just how much damage break effect and ultimates do we do have the wind shear applied we do have the ultimate from luca okay we have the field up from luocha another great feature of this is just the fact that you know you don't really need that many skill points in general the, the hands are coming out so the damage is going to look even better by the way so let's let's just take a quick look here and uh maybe he hits my sampo okay never mind all right okay so with sampo's ultimate luca's ultimate should already be there and i'm no longer trolling i know how it works the dot vulnerability if you saw it just happened we have double vulnerabilities we had the bleed with the wind shear okay now serval has to be the one that gets Serval has to get into break effect range, which should be pretty close here. Oh my god, I just realized his bar isn't going down nearly as quick as I thought it would. Uh, the field is still here. Okay, however, it should be after after this ultimate here. The next skill from from Serval should knock him into breaking range. No problem, no problem. So let's just hit this. So long as he doesn't take his turn, we should be fine. The vulnerability is still here, and Snareman is also here. Okay, and... It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to touch him. I'm not going to touch him. And we should have enough time to hit him one more time. Okay. All right. Everything is in place. We still have the vulnerability. And just to make sure, you know, different mob, we can see just how much damage Serval does with the break effect. And boom. Okay, so it's still looking pretty good. About 18,000, even without like proper tuning, just on average is not bad whatsoever. Now, for real, for real, now we have a better grasp of just how much break effect we can apply before we need to set up for Serval. The ultimate here is nice just because, you know, we're gonna get another ultimate before the time, uh, before, before Serval gets the break here. However, if we take a look, it's only doing about 2,000. That's understandable. We're just trying to apply the shocks. There are more enemies here as well. Important thing to remember here, but after the 250 things get, get hit, they also blow up and they do damage and or in effect the, the weakness break bar of both enemies. If I use my skill here, all we really need is Sampo to get another turn and that would be great. Actually, psych. Psych? Okay, that's breaking and they're getting affected. All right, we already tried. We already tested just how much damage the right side does. Oh God, please don't kill. Okay, psych, psych, psych. Wait, oh my God. Okay, psych, okay, psych, 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 psych. Fake panic, F fake panic, fake panic, fake panic. Okay, if we take a look here, the enemy on the on the left side still has vulnerability and we're going to take our turn with Serval before then. So what we actually need to do here is we need to use Sampo's ultimate. If we use Serval's ultimate here, we should get him pretty low perfect perfect the moment we've all been waiting for so again you can see here the defense down from the shred the dot vulnerability and the vulnerability and there's two debuffs are 176 break effect let's see just how much damage servo skill does instead of her ultimate and cast her ultimate is obviously going to do more damage than her skill, which is totally fine. However, we're shredding through this boss really, really quick. Even in Memory Chaos 7, you know, last time we tested it on Phase 2, and we were, you know, even in Memory of Chaos 5, we were only doing about 19,000 damage. But those were with weaker enemies. This time around, we have pretty much nothing holding us back. No deep, no buffers in sight, no true buffers in sight. We don't have Tingyun, we don't have Yukon. We don't even have Silver Wolf, who I think probably would have been a little bit better for this. All we have is the skin on our back and these in our triple dps composition which again is one of the more common teams that kafka users <laughs> that's kind of cap my gameplay with kafka involves something else anyway so moving along we have again we have the fist coming out and this team composition really doesn't struggle with anything like as you can see here we have the ultimates going off and that's fine even if you automatically played out this this part here the damage is so significant. No one is in real danger of dying. Uh, and again, this is Memory of Chaos 7. Like, Serval herself is, you know, she's just on break effect, which again, you don't have to worry about crit chance. You don't have to worry about crit damage. And again, that's pretty similar to how you play, uh, you know, that's pretty similar to how you would play Kafka. And they didn't even show off screen, but the other guy died, and I didn't get to see just quite how much damage he did. But this guy's weakness broken. And as we wind down the end of this fight, in general, even with just the weakness break dot, like, it's doing so much damage. And this is trying to make Serval, like, a full damage carry. When, re in reality, when you're using break effect, it's just for her utility and the fact that it's so easy to gear her. So, as you can see, we cleared in 33 cycles. Not bad. However, guys, as you can see, Serval especially on break effect, is pretty nice. Obviously, we had Sampo and Luca, and the dot was really helpful. Between the AoE clear and breaking all the enemies and doing enough to, like, stun and push back, and it's kind of insane just how valuable Serval is. Pretty forgotten fact about break effect is that it also pushes enemies back. So if you combine the break effect of all the characters that you're using, the break effect of Serval, you basically have a team that keeps taking turns, 
breaks and for all for all intents and purposes works even in later memory of chaos floors this is a pretty decent team i thought that break effect even if you don't want to fully invest in break effect you have like half maybe some more speed or attack so you still do damage with dots that works too is serval an okay stand in while you're waiting to get kafka yes totally absolutely similar to how you didn't have to pull for jingyuan and if you wanted to get serval and use serval with even jingyuan's light cone you could totally do that but that's gonna be it for this one guys as always if you enjoyed today's content make sure to like comment turn the notification bell let me know what you thought about serval i think serval especially on break effect or even on a crit and you know high attack build both work really well i do always appreciate the feedback and comments that i get on these videos so thanks so much guys if you have a moment make sure to check out all my other social media discord twitter youtube all that jazz thanks so much guys i'll see you on the next one Adios.